if you watch the videos of my playlist called the foundations of national development you'd have heard me say things like electricity is the infrastructure that drives every other infrastructure now what if i tell you that there is a piece of infrastructure without which you cannot carry electricity you cannot affect transportation you cannot build refineries you cannot build bridges you simply cannot connect the world. Look at critical industries that the world relies on. One thing is common in all these industries. What is it? Tons and tons of steel. Steel is that piece of infrastructure. I would say steel is the skeleton of civilization. This is Discourse. And my name is Azulike. Steel is made of four primary raw materials, iron ore, limestone, coal, and recycled steel. It's a material that can be produced with different levels of hardness. Applications of steel are wide and vast. You need steel in transportation, rail, roads, cars, agricultural sector, processing industries, our distribution system, our transmission system, our generation system. You need steel in the petroleum sector for refining, exploration, transportation, shipping, for military applications. That's how important steel is to human civilization. Here in Nigeria, we consider developing the steel industry as one of the foundations of our national development. Local steel production in Nigeria is the most significant catalyst that we require for infrastructural development. If you look at a refinery, for example, if you look at Dangote's refinery today, just finished, what you see is tons and tons of steel. You ask yourself a question, but how much of these were imported? When you think along that line, you begin to ask yourself, but how much dollars were spent just import on importation of this, this steel that this plant consumed? Now multiply that by whatever a number of factories that we have in this country. Look at our railroads. Look at the cars on the road. Look at the houses. It gives you an idea of just how important steel is to Nigeria's infrastructural development. Now, what if we could develop steel locally in Nigeria? Today, we predominantly import steel, different grades of steel. We have some industries that are local in Nigeria that produce recycled steel. So they produce steel from pellets. That industry is there. It's got its own challenges, but it's surviving. But the mother industry, which is supposed to be manufacturing steel from all, not just from pellets. That is the main foundation that then carries the rest of the steel industry. So that's the part we are emphasizing. A strong steel industry in Nigeria will generate a lot of jobs. We reduce reliance on importation. What that will do is to reduce the amount of foreign exchange that is required to import items into our country. That will then help to stabilize our local economy. That will then also stabilize our currency value. If we can produce steel locally, foreigners will be willing to set up shop, to set up factories in Nigeria to produce medical equipment, school equipment, hardware, all sorts of production will be going on in this country. Now, in our electricity sector, we say we want to expand our distribution infrastructure, expand our transmission infrastructure, increase power generation. For each project that you start, that you initiate, there is tons and tons of steel required. It just tells you there is a ready market within our local economy. There is more than enough incentive to produce local steel in Nigeria. You cannot talk about industrializing this country without looking at the production of local steel. A strong steel industry will galvanize industrial growth in Nigeria, will reduce Nigeria's dependence on importation, will increase the quality of our projects that we do already. We'll be able to carry out proper robust quality control if we produce our own steel. 
For every factory you see completed, you're looking at lost opportunity for our local steel market. We built a very good foundation for steel development in Nigeria. Very good foundation that was commended the world over. We, in the 70s, Nigeria was seen to be on the road to be one of the world's major steel powers. That didn't come to fruition, but it's not too late. We can continue from where we are. We know where we want to be. We want to be a fully industrialized nation. We want to be able to explore our full potential as a country. We have a massive steel plant in Adeokuta that has been all, that is almost completed. We have some other steel plants built across the country that have been privatized, but most of them are not functioning at the moment. The government came up with a recent initiative where they decided to create an insurance policy for major ongoing steel projects around the country. That's a massive step. What they are simply saying is, we're going to back you if anything goes wrong. That alone will give investors confidence. There's a massive steel plant in Kaduna that's almost ready to go into full production. That is a welcome development. So when we say Nigeria steel industry is on the cusp of greatness, it's not a joke. We have almost 10 states spread across the northern and southern parts of Nigeria that have limestone deposits, iron ore, and many other solid minerals. Detailed project reports were done. Nigeria has a strong foundation for steel development. All we need to do is to continue to build on that foundation and do it more aggressively. If you want to generate massive amounts of power, if we want to build rail lines across the whole country, if we want to build train carts in this country, if we want to begin to build ships and military hardwares and agricultural equipments, agricultural machineries, mechanize our farms, steel production is the heartbeat of our infrastructural development. The good news is that we are not at level zero. There's a lot going on in Nigeria already in terms of our steel development. If we manage to bring a Jokuta steel plant into full production and then commence on the expansion phases that have already been meticulously planned out, land provided, water available, everything, if you look at that plan is so good, you, they can continue with that. I can tell you that Nigeria is a nation on the cusp of greatness. We just need the will to keep pushing, to keep driving. Prioritize the steel industry in Nigeria. Prioritize full rejuvenation of the steel industry, full renaissance of the steel industry in Nigeria. And our greatness will know no bounds. There's so much potential in Nigeria. We have the mining part, the research part, the manufacturing part. And all these were meticulously planned in the 70s. All we're saying is government should continue with its initiatives, um, but then be more aggressive. We're also saying that states that are located in areas that have natural resources that are relevant to steel production should please take the initiative to invest. When you talk about industrializing a state, you look at your available natural resources and you begin to explore them in partnership with the federal government and in partnership with private investors. That's how you develop your state. Look at what Kaduna state government is doing. States that have these natural resources, any good state has a lot of coal. Every state that has natural resources that are relevant to the steel industry should take an example from what Kaduna state has just done. Developing this country is not just the responsibility of the federal government. It's true that the federal government will drive it, but states can also drive it. That's why we have a federal structure. I have a very optimistic outlook for this industry. My hope is that we will monster the courage and then we will have the political will to make steel work for Nigeria. If the steel industry works in Nigeria, then Nigeria is ready. The good thing about us, the potential that we have, if we take off, we will overtake most other countries that are already far ahead of us. That's one thing I know. That's one thing I believe. We just need to reach that point where people realize that this is our country and we have to develop. Our steel industry is key and the time is now. This is Discourse and Amazulike. Thank you for watching this video.